That's all the horsepower. <laughs> all what, 97? <laughs> that's, that's, how, that's how fits store the horsepower. What is up, everybody? It's your girl, Desiree. Am I on me? <laughs> well, hello. Today, we are going to be teaching Desiree how to change your oil on the fit. First yeah. time ever you know, changing I mean, oil. I have an idea. There's a bolt you gotta find. Take the bolt off, let it drain. Find where the filter is, change the filter, put the bolt back on, put oil in it, right? Yeah. Yes, this is easy. First step. I don't know if it's first step. We're gonna grab these ramps here. Ah. And then we're gonna put the ramps under the car and then we're gonna drive the car onto the ramps. Okay, first steps. Is? <laughs> you tell me you're the professional today. I didn't say I was the professional. She was like, I've watched plenty of YouTube videos. I know how to do this. I got this. Uh, for the record, I did not say I watched YouTube videos, okay? <laughs> she definitely did. No! I love this thing here. Yeah. And then you're gonna need some tools. Some fancy tools. Oh God. Here. Oh, the power! Cool. Now, we're gonna crawl under the car. Oh. Stop sleeping on the job. <laughs> oh my god, this is so close to me. I don't know how guys way bigger do this. Your like, this should be the woman's job. Let's be real. We're smaller. Fingers are a little more, what's the word, dex, what's the word, what am I, what am I looking yeah, for? Yeah, better dexterity. Dexterity, yeah. You can get in the smaller places. Like, this is totally a woman's job. What you gotta do? I got this. Here's the, we're right here. Oh, wait. Hey, I got this. Totally got this. Okay. <laughs> this is the, the bolt, right? Yes. This is the filter, right? I don't know. I can't see the filter. Let's go under. Oh, yeah. Here's the filter. I was right. And there's the, well, that's how you knew it tells you. <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. I knew there was a bolt somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it literally says engine oil. There. Engine oil there. Thanks, Honda. <laughs> but yes, that's the oil filter. So, um, first thing we're we'll doing is we're going to put a oil pan underneath mm -hmm. it. Yep. And then we're going to find the socket that it's this and we'll drain. I think you actually should just stay there. <laughs> I want to catch it in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that what all the guys do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give me this. Make sure. Dude, I'm so terrified of getting this on me. Make sure you take this thing off first. Does it matter where? Um, generally, you kind of want to line it. it. No. Oh. See this little cutout here? You kind of want to line it up here. Okay. And give it a chance just in case it decides to shoot all the way to the back. Oh, if it's too far closer, you'll miss. Got it. So, yeah. We'll find the socket um, for that. Try that. Yeah. Nope. Uh, is it? Uh, it's the other way, right? Nope. Is it say off? It'll say off on it. Yeah. Is it facing off? Yeah. Okay. There you go. And we've got to get on there. No, it wants to go the other way. Yeah, that's the right way. Lefty Lucy. Yeah. Was I pulling the wrong way? I, were you pushing or pulling? I was pulling towards me. Oh, yeah, no, you're supposed to be pushing. I but thought you were my pushing. My left is that way. Yeah, so. If I'm looking at it this way, that's my left side. Yeah, so look, pretend you're looking at the bolt. Yeah. And visualize the bolt in front of you. Yeah. Which way would you turn that bolt? To the left. Yeah, which way is the left? This way. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Well, no wonder I could get it i don't think i got it now this is the fun part can you take it out without getting yourself dirty but you can't drop it in the hole oh, oh and you got it on you you failed the test Did it really all of your hand oh on my hand yeah. yeah you failed the test well you know what it's just an accessory like i said this part might be hard as crap wait okay so does it spill out it will spill out from there it's gonna be hard to keep clean so okay oh look at that <laughs> you talking about you don't need no tool i said sometimes i, didn't, I didn't need a tool so what i would do is i'd let it sit yeah i kind of let it drain like that for a little bit oh god oh god 
There you go. You just toss it in there. Oh, cool. that wasn't too bad. No. I just got a fingy. Just a fingy. That's not bad. Now, you're going to take that same towel and you're going to wipe this surface down and try to make it a clean... We're going to clean her up? Yeah, where the, you'll see a... Kind of see that flat surface? Yeah, yeah, I see it. Got it. But you can clean the entire, like, the entire thing. Clean her up. Let me get the filter. New filter. New filter. See that, the, um... Yep. The O-ring? Yep. What I like to do, kind of the old oil here. I don't care, YouTube might yell at me for this. And dip it, kind of lube, pre-lube the ring. And that helps it Do not it stick to that surface. Now tighten it. The whole point is I'd find like a spot to look at, like that like code here. Okay. And I would try to tighten it like one and a half times. Okay. Try to. Does that get on that kind of tight? Uh, no, it, it, it's not as tight as people think it needs to be. Thermal dynamics will take care of the rest. Eee. Now you're gonna snug your <laughs> oil bolt. Same thing with this one. This just needs to be snug, not over tight, but snug. Keep a little, little more, a little more. There you go. <laughs> oh my god, it's a whole different world down there. This handy dandy oil funnel. Beer bong. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, you can drink it, you can try. Lefty Lucy? Yep. You got it! I think it's like laying down. I can't understand. Like, you have to like flip it in your head. My brain doesn't work like that. I can't. And here's basically to put four carts in it. That's a I'm telling you, my hands are so cold right It is now. very cold outside. In case you guys are wondering, it is like 44 degrees outside. It's probably not even that anymore. Yeah. It's, it's middle of spring, but not spring. It's actually early spring. Yep. Pull the cat back on. And start her up. Let it run for a couple seconds. She just like combusts in the fire. You just turn the ignition over and it's. Wait. Oh, now check the. Yep. Flip it over. See how that oil is right there? Yeah. Means you're in a safe spot. You can oh. be between here and here. Between the dots, we yep. good. Yep. Sick. All in a day's work. Sure. Yep. You're already at the oil thing, so press and hold. With my cool nails. Boom. I'm gonna go back to your oil life. There you go. 100%. Hello. Oil change complete. Yay! Look at that! Hey! And now you can change your own oil. Aww. And now I don't have to do it anymore. Because that's one less thing I gotta do because I was tired of changing her oil. So she can do her own damn oil now. Ha! So, now that we got that done, sorry it's dark in this corner, my LED lights went out. There's a couple of things I need to do before we can get this car tuned. I need to get the an updated IAT sensor. This one's a little bit too small for the factory spot here that they built into the cold side so I can run the proper intake air temperature so I can get that tuned. I also ordered three sensors from Haltech. I got an oil pressure and temperature sensor and then I got a coolant temperature and pressure sensor as well. Along with that, I got a GPS because I actually had no speed. So I have a GPS sensor and then I'm going to wire my fuel into the dash as well. Once that's done, we can go get this tuned. I also got a new intake coming from Nat Motorsports. It gets rid of the soft silicone hose and replaces it with a metal piping. And that way everything has a metal pipe instead of a silicone pipe that needs to be. Um, and then we can go get it tuned. And then after that, we got, we got some other stuff. We got brakes. We got some wheels that are sticking out a little too far than they need to be. We're gonna take care of that uh, and go from there. We appreciate you guys watching our video of teaching guys how to change your own oil. This has been a long time coming and she's been wanting to do this for a while. <laughs> she finally did it. I did it. And it wasn't as bad as she thought, huh? No. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the bell notification to see more videos being posted. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe. If you are interested in any AWR products, I will leave a link in the description below. Use code ZETRO at checkout for 10% off. If you're interested in any spike performance stuff, we'll also leave a link in the description below so you can get yourself some hood louvers, some fender louvers, some apparel, some mugs, and then just check out all their stuff because he is expanding his inventory every single day and it's just getting bigger and bigger. And the last thing, if you're interested in any track dog racing products from their supercharger kits to the other stuff they sell on their website, I'll leave a link in the description below. Hit them up and check them out. 
see what they have to offer for you. As always, I will see you on the track. Bye!